Welcome back to First Year Undergraduate Microeconomics. Our topic today is time. Economists often use the terms short run and long run. Uh, John Maynard Keynes famously said, in the long run we're all dead. Uh, but what do the terms short run and long run actually mean? Are they a specific length of time or are they something else? When thinking about a business, we notice that businesses have fixed costs and variable costs. But the story doesn't end there. Let's consider a simple fixed cost. You're running a retail business. You sign a lease for a shop for two years. That means that for the next two years, every week, you'll be paying the rent on that shop. It's a fixed cost. You can't avoid it by closing down. If you tried to do that, the landlord would come knocking on your door and say, you owe me the rent still. But it's not fixed forever. Because in two years' time, you're able to walk away from the shop. The contract has ended. You can renegotiate the lease, perhaps rent the shop for a different amount. So the fixed cost is fixed, but only for a particular period of time. After that period of time, the fixed cost becomes variable. So the definition of the short run for a business is the period of time in which some of its costs are fixed. For example, it may be that your fixed cost are your workers. So the short run is the time until you can legally dismiss workers. Or if you're expanding your business, it's the time until you can hire new workers. If you're a retail outlet, then the short run may be the time until the lease expires on your premises if you wish to leave the industry. Or if you're expanding, it may be the time that it takes to find new premises. Notice some implications of this. Notice that the short run is not a specific period of time. The short run is just the period of time until all of a business's fixed costs become variable. Secondly, it clearly depends on the business. A retail business, for example, might be able to turn all its fixed costs into variable costs and leave the industry completely in, say, six months. But an aluminium smelter or an iron ore mine or a large manufacturing business, well, it may face a short run measured in decades, not in years. Thirdly, the length of time that is relevant for the short run depends on whether the business is expanding or contracting. There's no reason why the length of time that it will take until you can legally dismiss workers is the same as the length of time that it takes you to interview and hire new ones. So the short run for a business depends on whether the business is growing or shrinking. And what happens when all your costs have become variable? Well, when all fixed costs have become variable, that means that the firm has now reached the long run. Again, the long run is not a specific period of time. It depends on the business, and it depends on whether the business is growing or contracting. When we look at the market level, then the short run is the length of time until new businesses can enter or old businesses can completely exit the market. Now, that's pretty clear. Think about our retail store. The retail store cannot completely exit the market, leave the business behind, until all its fixed costs have become variable. Even if it closes its doors today, it's still going to be paying out for example, the rent on a lease until the lease expires. So the short run at the market level is the length of time that it takes the firms to enter or exit. When businesses have entered or exited from the, bit, from the market, we know we're in the long run. To summarise, at the firm level, 
we're in the short run if some fixed costs exist. But when all fixed costs have become variable, then we're going to be in the long run. At the market level, in the short run, the number of firms competing is fixed. Firms cannot enter or exit in the short run. But in the long run, at the market level, well, firms can enter and exit the market. Or in other words, the number of businesses competing in the market will be variable. They're not specific lengths of time. They're economic concepts. But they're going to be critical for analysing the different behaviour in markets. Because we're going to find what happens in a market in the short run is very different from what happens in the long run. But part of the art of being a microeconomist is being able to look at an industry and work out what is the relevant length of time for the short run and for the long run. Talk to you next time.